Welcome to my home garage. Today we have a 2006 Honda Civic Coupe. It has a front right ABS light. Also, customer doesn't want to diagnose, so we're going to throw parts at it. So let's get to it. All right, so now we're going to do the lower control arms and the ABS sensor on this side. So here's the ABS sensor that we have to remove. My right, where is it? Right there. So we're gonna remove the nut bolt and then uh, we'll see if it uh, is seized or not, which uh, I bet 100% it's seized. That's why the customer didn't do the job himself. Cause if it wasn't seized, he would have just replaced it. Cause it's a pretty easy job to replace. So my guess is he tried, didn't work out, so it came to me. That's my guess, that's how it always goes. So we'll get a 10 mil, pop that off, and then uh, guaranteed it's seat. I don't even need to guess, I already 100% know. If it's not seized, it'll be a miracle. Yeah, of course the bolt, the bolt always comes out. That's never the problem. All right. Now, let's see if we can get this thing to move. So some of the tricks that I would use is, uh, I'll try and hit it, oh look. Oh, he had it out already, what the heck? Why wouldn't he just, someone's been in here. What the heck? JBS sensor, someone took it out. These are never loose. Never. Okay, guys. So just keep an eye on that. Okay? I know this isn't even a proper test, to be honest with you. But let's just let's just for the sake of, of testing. So here's the old one. Okay. Let's see what the resistance measurement is. Because someone was in here. 25 mega ohms, okay? Let's check the new one. Can you see that? 0.479 mega ohms. So there's definitely something wrong with that other sensor. The question is, why was it removed? Someone removed that sensor. 1,000% someone removed that sensor. The question is, who removed the sensor? Was it the owner? So what I like to do is you get a little bit of grease and you just want to grease around the shaft, not the part that picks up the signal. I already blew out the hole, okay? We're gonna put this in here. If it doesn't fix the problem, the customer has to pay for diagnostics. That's that's it. I'm not here to die to to throw parts at a car because the customer wants doesn't want to pay for diagnostics. That's it. So I don't care. We'll tighten this down. But uh, someone was in here. Sure, what it says. Obviously, the customer isn't being transparent. Someone's obviously been in here before, and maybe the, uh, maybe it didn't fix the problem. I don't know, but these are never come out. The bolts come out. What doesn't come out is the sensor. It always seizes inside. So the fact that this one came out means something's fishy. That's what that means. Okay, so we'll run, whatever, we'll run the sensor uh, appropriately the way it's supposed to be run. It's all tangled up right now. I think it's gonna look like this is better. Okay. Okay, there's one. Okay. Second one is is uh, right there. 
the third. You guys want to take a look from this side. Take a look up there. Yeah, the third one is right here. Okay, and here's the, the fourth one. First, you plug it in. Actually, we should clean that out because it looks like someone or something's been in there as well. So, you know, like I'm constantly, like, it's like I gotta dig through wires, you know? Let's just clean this up. Okay, we'll blow that out. Obviously someone's been in there and never seen an, <laughs> an ABS sensor come out. That's original, almost 20 years old. Someone's been in there. Question is why were they in there? Okay, all right, so now there's one out. You can plug it in properly. Okay. Okay. Why is it so tight? Hold on a second. Something's up here. Is it the connector or is it because I sprayed it? Okay, let me just lubricate this up here. It's a little bit. Let's just give it a little little luby. Okay. Okay, and then it plugs in right under here so that it doesn't hit anything. There, okay, so that's done. So now we just gotta lower the vehicle down on jack stands and, or use a jack and tighten that bolt there and then we're all done with this car and we can confirm that everything works. Okay, a full system scan is complete. This car allegedly had codes for a bunch of stuff, so let's do a report. All right, uh... So we got EVAP large leak detected, evaporative emissions system low purge flow. We have an EVAP system very large leak temporary and an evaporative system low purge flow detected. Okay. So it has a very large leak. I don't know why he was wanted to change this part number, but okay. It's just look, and there's temporary is it large leak. Right front wheel spencer malfunction, modulator control circuit ignition low voltage, no signal from right front impact sensor. Right front. So we're gonna erase everything quickly. Okay, so now we're gonna go to ABS. And uh, what I'm going to do is I want to, uh, I'm going to spin up the wheel. Just want to make sure that it's working. We're going to put it in neutral. Okay. So right front wheel speed sensor. Okay. We're going to... shoot okay guys so changing the abs sensor on this car did not fix the problem the customer wanted to uh you know do the thing where you uh scan a vehicle and then you just throw whatever part that code might be so obviously i didn't fix the car so i did a little bit of digging i literally just looked at the fender and i realized oh the fender is damaged you know first thing you do is a quick check don't start going into diag mode right away and then just look at the harness 
I just followed it just a little bit and what do you see right there? That's the ABS sensor. I'm gonna remove a little bit more on the wire and show you guys. Okay, so I removed it so we can get a better look. So what we're gonna do is, these clips are always broken. So might as well get rid of them and install new ones if you can. Because they're not doing anything when you put them back. All right. Because we should inspect the entire harness in this area because obviously there was something that failed here or when this vehicle was, maybe it was in an accident. Oh, fuck, that hurt. There we go, okay. So we're gonna redo this whole harness. So the best thing we could do is unwrap this whole thing. All right, and let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. All right. Actually, I don't see any breaks in the wire. All right, guys, it's going to be really hard to see. But take a look right there. Do you guys see that on that green wire right there? I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah. If all the wire, I know it looks good, but then look right, ready? Right there. What do you guys see? Remember the Porsche? That's all it takes for this thing to break contact. That's it. So we're going to peel it back all the way to there and uh, retape this harness correctly after we complete the repair. And then we'll see if we have an ABS sensor, sensor before we put this all back together. But yeah, pretty much all I did is follow this harness. I just followed the harness from underneath here. And I just looked for any spots that looked weird. And look, right here, there's a break in the, in the thing. It probably hit right there. If you follow it, look, it goes right there. It probably got into an accident and this hit right there, cut the wire, and over time it got worse and worse and worse. So I'm gonna do the repair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, take a look at the pink wire. I know it's hard to tell, but look, look. You can tell, look, they've been rubbing together. Hold on, zoom in here, come on. Fuck off with this light. Look right there, hold on. Right there, do you see it? See, look, you can see where it's been arcing together. And that's why you have an ABS malfunction. Let's see, send a picture to the owner. And we'll get this repaired. There's no need to get approval. We'll include this in the diagnostics. So another thing is I'm gonna do is you have to go, you have to check this whole harness. You have to see if there's any other spots. So just run your finger along it and take a look at it. And obviously you have to confirm your repair, right? Like you can see there's debris and dirt in here as well. Okay, so here we have both wires repaired. Hing shrink tube for protection. Uh, now I just gotta twist them back up and I put a new sleeve on it and then we're gonna tape it up, all right? So let's do that now. Okay, so if you guys take a look, there's our finished product. It runs there. Wait, hold on. Our finished product, you can't see it. There we go. See it now? Ends up through there. The best you can do when customers bring you damaged goods. So we'll put the wheel back on and we'll confirm our repair. So this car obviously has an electrical problem. Whoever wired in, did wiring on this car or touched something, there's obviously some static on the speaker all the time. 
But uh, take a look, our ABS light is not on anymore, which it was on before. So obviously we'll, we'll scan the system again and check everything out. So just let this thing run. Okay, so here's our code, we didn't delete anything. There's our code, so let's uh, delete it. Uh, car is in neutral. Okay, so let's read codes. Okay, no codes found. Let's go to live data. So what we're looking for right now is simply just confirmation that our wheel speed sensor is actually working. So we're looking at left, right front wheel. Am I not spinning it fast enough? I think the point of this video is, you know, anyone can find a, a broken wire. Uh, maybe not like someone working at home who just pretty much scans a car and then says, hey, it has a code for an O2 sensor. Change the O2. Okay, sometimes that works, but sometimes that doesn't work. And sometimes it's a cat or sometimes something else. Or in the case of this ABS sensor, it said ABS sensor malfunction, but a real code would have been open or short in ABS. The reason it said malfunction is because both of the wires were touching and it was causing a, a weird signal. That's why the light would come on as soon as you started spinning the wheel because it, it couldn't figure out the, the data. So that's my guess on that. But uh, we obviously proved that now when we spin the wheel, it's working. So we'll take it for a quick little drive and then we'll uh, give this back to the customer. Everything else in the vehicle is done. I hope you guys learned something. The scanner can be your friend and the scanner can be your enemy. All the weed speed sensors are working.